Hello everyone and welcome back to Harvest Moon Wonderful Life Special Edition. This is Showboat and today is the evening edition. Actually it's the it's the night edition tonight. Uh I do not need to save before going to bed, thanks. Uh it's like eight oh five PM on uh on Monday. I I hate Mondays so very much. Alright, <clears throat> excuse me, oh hi. Yes, I am up early, thanks. Get up. Wake up! Wake up. And get out of my way. So yeah, if I get raspy, it's because I, uh, I ate. Ooh, the RB. The RB peaches. I need to let go. Thanks. The RB fruit that not, it's not ripe yet. Clearly. Clearly not ripe. Bananas are summer. Oh, it is summer. Right. It is summer. What am I smoking? It is summer. I keep forgetting. It is summer. I'm just gonna eat this royal fern. And then we've got milking to do. Hey. Camera, camera, work with me here. That cow is still in the hutch. All right, I didn't ship the thing. Why is cow still in hutch? No idea. Talk. Nuzzle. Since it's raining yet again today, I uh, I won't be able to ro really wash the cow now, can I? Moo. If you're hungry, eat. It's like, seriously, if, it, if you're hungry, eat. Moving right along, we're moving right along. So, yeah, what have, I, what have I been doing lately? Why is it 8 o'clock at night and... Hey, the rain stopped. <laughs> well, that was... Sudden. But the rain did stop. So I get to wash my cow. What a glorious feeling. I get to actually... Wash my cow. Now, I need you to go this way. Alright, from behind, let me direct you. I need you over here. Like, seriously. I need you over here. If we were to ever get the milking machine, which will never actually pay for itself, by the way. Uh, you can have cows automatically go in by pushing them in uh, each time you want them to use the machine. Alright, where's the thing? There's the thing. Wash. She's clean! 
And happy. Well, happier, I would assume. Yeah, you can, like, train your cows to use the milking machine themselves. Useful, but meh. It doesn't really... At, by that point, you don't need to save the time. As I on. Uh, happy lamps, I think, are back. Maybe. Possibly. Oh. We'll look around town. So, uh, as usual, I'll start with what I did yesterday. Uh, for my, my vlog type dealio. Yesterday being... Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Uh, what did I do? Oh yes, I spent uh, the vast majority of the day, uh, actually, uh, preparing for being able to stream. That That's what I did most of the day. It's like, I have so many games that are like, on my, on my backlog that I need to get to, and because I record whenever, like, here's the thing, whenever I play games that I am not currently recording, I can't play them for extended periods of time, ever, anymore, because I always feel like I could be doing other things like recording. It's like, why, why play this when I could be recording content for my channel? That, that's the exact mentality, and that's how a lot of Let's Players get that who've been doing it for a, a while. That, that is, unfortunately, a mentality that just happens. It's part of the... It's just what you get when you make videos like, like this. Why play something else when you could be recording and making more content for your channel? So... I decided that in order to start going through some of that backlog, I will just stream. I will stream it. Uh, I have no idea what game I'll start with, but it's likely going to be something obscure. And regardless, I'm not going to be doing it for very long because I will be out of town uh, in about three weeks. In fact, three weeks from today. Well, the day of this recording. Uh, yeah, I, I leave the 21st of December. So, yeah. And I'm going to be gone, in, like, through through the 8th. So, yeah, there there's going to be a fair bit of time there where I will not be around. So even if I do start streaming, it's like, well, I'm, I'll start it, but then I have to wait... And regardless, I'm not going to actually start until after I receive uh, all of the uh, items from my recent order because I have a I have an OS reinstall to do. I don't know if you caught on with when I was talking about the uh, SSD stuff that I bought in the last video. I think it was. Yeah, I'll, uh, upgrading all that's going to involve a, an operating system reinstall. So, and I'm going to try to do it as clean as possible, like uninstall as many programs as I possibly can before going through and uh, installing uh, Windows 10 again. So, yeah, I won't really start streaming until I get that sorted out, you know? But I do have everything like set up, like the art assets and a uh, saved presentation in, in XSplit. Because yes, I'll be using XSplit. I've paid for th through t like 2018 to use XSplit. I'm going to use XSplit. Uh, it's been updated several times since uh, I last had issues with it. So hopefully when combined with a complete operating system reinstall, it will, uh, it will be fine. 
and all other issues I've been having will go away. At least that's the ideal situation, right? Always the ideal. So, yeah, I, I did a lot of that sort of stuff yesterday. Uh, I didn't really do too much else, sadly. I ended up, like, getting up after 10 a.m., like, closer to 10.30. It's like, it was really late when I woke up, and then I had to... I had to go to bed uh, earlier as well. It was, it was like, I don't know, 11.30-ish when I went to bed. So it felt like a wasted day, mostly. But uh, I did get uh, in the mail, which was odd because it was a Sunday. Uh, I did get through USPS. Again, odd because Sunday. Uh, the package that I was expecting the previous day... Uh, that wasn't actually delivered. So the package that didn't happen, that was supposed to arrive on the Saturday, arrived on the Sunday. Weird as that is. Uh, and that had my two SSDs, the two normal SSDs, 500 gigabyte SSDs, in it, as well as my uh, joystick. I guess you could actually call it a flight stick more. So it, then I, uh, joystick. It's a, it's a Mad Cat's Flight 5. Uh, and because it's Mad Cat's, it's, uh, adjustable out the wazoo. It's got lots of little knobs that can be turned to, uh, adjust basically everything about it. Um, which is fitting for Mad Cat's. They tend to do that sort of stuff with, uh, adjustability. I... Uh, I do have a spare mouse that uh, is a Mad Cat's Rat 7. Uh, it's my spare because eh, I, I, re I replaced it with a Logitech whatever. A Logitech G502. But uh, yeah, I stopped using it because I was having trouble on my desktop with uh, the Rat 7 having its, uh, having the pointer get stuck on like the X or Y axis, it would just get like stuck. It would stick there until I would have to pound the, uh, the mouse a few times. It's like I'd have to like actually pound it on my, on my desk in order for it to, uh, unstick itself. Extremely odd, but uh, yeah. So it's my it's my spare. I use it on my laptop, and I have not actually had it do that yet on the laptop. Again, really weird. It was doing it on my desktop, but not my laptop. Super strange. And that has all of the uh, adjustments that you can do out the wazoo on it, interchangeable pieces as well. The joystick doesn't have interchangeable pieces as far as I can tell. At least didn't come with any. Uh, and I, I like it. It's actually fairly small. Um, and it, it, you can like pick it up really easily with just the one hand, so it's like you have to be real careful because you'll end up like moving it easily, but other than that, it's fine. It's it's a flight stick. I messed around in Curl Space Program a little bit with it, uh, which is primarily what I got it for, to be uh, completely honest. I primarily got it for Kerbal Space Program anyway, so mucked around a little bit. Haven't had too much time because uh, that was later on in the day yesterday. As for today. <laughs> Blah. As for today, well, today was an early day because I had to go in for a 10 o'clock meeting. Fortunately enough, the last 10 o'clock meeting of the semester, so huzzah for that. Huzzah next week, I don't have to worry so much. About spending an entire day 
uh, out uh, on campus. And I started the day with uh, recording the Afterbirth Daily. Oh, it's a tiny Shar Shark. Isn't it cute? It's also worth a fair bit of money. All by its lonesome. And only the second star Shar Shark we've seen in a long time. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Had to go in relatively early. Basically, as soon as I finished rendering the video, the, the, the Afterbirth Daily, I had to, uh, get ready to leave. And it sucked because it, was, it only had five minutes left on the upload before I had to leave. Which, uh, if it had finished uploading, I could have shut down my computer before I left. That was, that was the only thing that bothered me a little bit. It's like, oh, I have to leave the computer on while I'm gone all day. And it's gonna be idling because it, all it had to do was finish the upload in five minutes. <laughs> uh joy. After that, I was grading, 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 grading until four. Well, around four. Uh, followed then by my class that is at four uh, until five fifteen. Yep. So grading, yeah, I. I was by myself today. None of the other TAs were there. One of them's still out of town from Thanksgiving. <laughs> so for some reason, even though classes begin today. Strange. Don't know why they managed to not be able to return in time, but whatever. Uh, so I was grading by myself. Got through about 50 of the uh, written exam portions, because the students had an exam on uh, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, which was fun. Uh, they had to, they had to draw metaphase of mitosis and meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. They had to, they had to draw a metaphase uh, in that, but their first question, the first part of it, uh, was a question that asked, what is a gene and where is it located? Very simple question. The vast majority of people know what it is and where it's located, but for some reason they put a function down when the question doesn't ask for a function. And then when they put down the function, it's the wrong thing. Most people say that genes code for traits. That is false. That is not true. Gene, not all genes code for traits. In fact, traits themselves are not genes. <laughs> traits are traits based off of the expression and regulation of proteins. Of which all proteins arise from your genes. But not all genes will code for proteins. Some genes will code specifically for mRNA or just other and other types of RNA that are involved in regulating the production of other RNA that gets involved with the actual creation of proteins. Oh, big rain bob, that's nice. Uh, we're going to call it here on the fishing, I think. Horse is way over there for some reason. Uh, but for that question, if they put that they code for traits, they lose half a point. The question didn't ask for uh, any of that nonsense of function. It's just, what is it? And just for reference, it is a segment of DNA on location, 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 on a strand of DNA, aka a chromosome. Where is chromosome located? Well, it depends on the type of cell you're in. If you're a eukaryotic cell, it's in a nucleus. If you're a prokaryotic cell, well, it's just hanging out, to be honest. 
It's just hanging out. Doing its thing. But regardless, it's chromosome. That's where it's located. And it's a segment of DNA. That is what it is. That is a gene. And where it is located. And that was the two points for that question. The other 18 points for their written portion. So 20 total points on this written portion of their exam. Was drawing out. Drawing. Drawing. Metaphase of mitosis, meiosis 1, and meiosis 2. That's what they had to do, and they had to draw DNA strands to represent chromosomes. Like actual DNA strands, well, not actual DNA strands, but ladders that represent DNA strands. The, the the actual rungs of the ladder representing hydrogen bonds between nucleotides. If they put an X, or if they didn't, if they like drew oblong circular type structures. Uh, no, I don't. I want to talk. Uh, then they lose a point for each of those sections, so usually they lose three points. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep talking. Hey there. Let's keep talking. I want to talk. I will keep talking. If you find a happy lamp or gem soil, give it to me with one of your crops. I'm sure something good will happen. Yeah, sure. I know, right? Yeah, sure. Let's let's keep talking. Hey there. Let's keep talking. Hi there. No, I don't. Thanks. I want to talk. I want to talk. So in case you didn't know, Tartan loves talking. Don't ever give him uh, carrots. He hates carrots. So yeah, the uh, thing is, most people have gotten all the points. Well, not most. Almost most. Lots of people have gotten all the points, all 20. They've actually been able to draw it correctly. Uh, the, the actual biggest problem is people putting down that genes equal traits when that's not true. They only lose half a point, and at the end, the score gets rounded up if they have a half point in their score. So, really, it doesn't count against them, but... Uh, the only time it would count against them is if they lose a half point somewhere else. So, yeah. What is the what is an acceptable answer though? Is that they code for proteins? That's what they learn in 150. Yes, it genes will make other things that regulate other genes that aren't proteins, but for bio 150. As long as they know genes equal proteins, that's the goal. That's the goal. They don't equal traits. That we will hammer until the end of time. Genes do not equal traits. Traits arise because of genes. Because of the expression of certain genes or the repression of certain genes. Multiple genes, in fact, will be responsible for a single trait most of the time. So you have to you have to bear that in mind. It's a lot more complicated than just uh, gene equals trait. Which is why we hammer home that that's false. Uh, will you keep talking? Yeah, sure. Let's let let's extend this day as long as we can. 
I want to talk. I want to talk. Yes, I want to talk. I'm gonna give him my freaking turnip. He said, "Do you have something to eat?" So I figured I'd give I'll give him my turnip. And he's gonna he's just gonna analyze the turnip. Analyze. Yeah, give it back. Thanks. Hey there. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hey, he can see the heart. Oh, thank you, freaking God. Hybridization is now available to us. Unfortunately, I don't think I have anything to hybridize. <laughs> oh, that's rich. I need to buy things, clearly. Clearly, I need to buy things. Uh, so I'm going to put the turnip in the seed maker. Yes, I will. I will quit hybridizing. So now that we can hybridize... Thank you, Lord! I've been thinking about cutting down the trees in the back lot. If you want to, order the materials. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Takakura. Now, and only now, are we able to clear uh, the third field. Only now. Here. Oh, I apparently have made money. Cool. Great field. 20,000 gold. And uh, that'll take a few days to clear. Huzzah. Success. Success is ours. Yay. You know, this ended up being at a good time because these are going to bear fruit soon-ish. And then I can make hybrid trees. It'll be amazing. I will cut down all those, and I'll plant my hybrid trees, which uh, will probably not bear fruit until the next chapter, but yeah. Anyway, I think, I think we're just about done for the day. I have said my piece on the whole grading shenanigans. Oh, by the way, it is confirmed I am going to have an iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, when I get back from my vacation. Well, I'm gonna get it during my vacation. Think of it more as a Christmas gift, I guess, or birthday gift, actually, because that's like the time I'll be getting it. Uh, because my mother ordered new phones. It's been two years, and my droid DNA and her droid DNA are quite old and uh, not holding a charge anymore. They function, they just, they don't hold a charge anymore. Hi. So, yeah, we're getting, we're, we're going to try out the Apple thing. See if we like it. We haven't had the Apple thing yet, so we're going to try it. And the, uh, the 6S Plus is a direct upgrade to the Droid DNA in basically every respect. So, yeah, it's cool. She's also saved a whole bunch of money on her on her monthly phone bill. Because she changed the plan. It's cool. Yay. But because I'm in Kansas, I'm not actually going to have the phone physically until I leave in three weeks. Uh, so with that, I thank you all for watching. Oh, this has been Showboat, and I will see you all next time where... Oh, God. I'm not going to go buy... Uh, I'm going to have to go buy seeds and start with the whole hybrid 
thing, aren't I? Now, if you want to know what wastes a lot of time, hybridization wastes a lot of time. Oh, right. I can't do that tomorrow because tomorrow is a van day. And as usual with a van day, we're gonna be selling a bunch of crap and no one works. So we won't be able to buy seeds anyway. I'm gonna stick this in the uh, seed maker next time, I guess. But uh, fortunately, we will have we will have fruit that we will convert to seeds and then hybridize. And then for the hybrids, we will use ahem, maybe upseed. That might be a good idea. <laughs> To, 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 you know, use the upseed. Because the upseed makes all your crops S-grade instantly. It's pretty awesome. You get more money out of it. Then again, the happy lamp makes it, uh... It makes sure that your stuff will grow in any season. Where is the gem? Do I not have... Oh, there's gem soil. The gem soil allows all your stuff to grow in any soil so gem soil is actually best for like tier three crops to be honest because they can only be planted on that huge field but uh yeah anyway i shall see you all on the next one